Yo, what's up guys? Kiko Suarez here. Welcome back to another video in the channel. If you are from TikTok, I appreciate you from the bottom of my heart. We're about to be 20,000 followers on TikTok is insane. And of course, we're all here for the love of football, Madrid, but mainly Real Madrid. If you're a Madridista, let me know in the comments down below. Also, what you thought about the game? Of course, this is the six teams we learned for the Real Madrid season. I'm hoping that I will be able to post one of these for every single game of the season. So if that's something that you're looking for, please make sure to subscribe. Go follow my TikTok and go follow the Instagram. I pop shit like this all the time. I put I put information. I that's the 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 application that I notice that I get to interact with you the most. So if you want to ask me questions or anything, every single link down below. Also, do make sure to download FOMOP, the official sponsor of the channel for the whole season of 2022-2023. And it does, let me put it out there, even though you should understand that by sponsoring, I get paid. Every time you download it, even though the app is free, I do get compensated for it. So if you want to help me out by just downloading a free application that will give you the best uh, updated scores, lineups, and news, then so be it, right? Win-win situation. But as you know... I've been trying to get better at uploading and also at my notes. So I have everything here that I want to talk about. So let's jump right straight into it. My first note right here is Fernando Martinez is a really good goalkeeper. Let me get this out of the way. A lot of people I saw online, on Twitter, etc. That were saying like, oh, like Madrid is in shambles. Like it's Almeria. How are you not beating them? How are you not doing anything? Ancelotti might have got the rotation wrong. The, that which we're going to be talking about in a second. Uh, you cannot, guys cannot win without the Holy Trinity. Rudiger is going to be a flop. I mean, he's going to be awful. Fernando Martinez had 14 saves or 13 saves. I believe it was 13. He had 13 saves. He basically did what Courtois did against Liverpool in the Champions League final. You know what that means? If we, if he had had seven saves instead of 14, we wouldn't be talking about like, oh, that was a bad game, that was bad everything. We will, be, we will have won comfortably by three or more goals. That's the thing about Fernando Martinez performing. That was so key for this whole argument and everything happened. Of course... We can talk about what happened in the beginning of the game that Real Madrid was just lazy. Let's call it as it is. They probably didn't expect that Almeria was going to come out with everything in respect. When respect is due, Almeria, my prediction, I said that they were going to go down. I'm pretty sure after this game, I'm going to have to update that uh, uh, mid-season. They're still in category to go bottom because these are not the games that they expect to win. The games that they need to not drop points are the ones against their competitors, but... If they play like that against every single team there, they're definitely going to stay up. They're going to be very good. And if Fernando Martinez does that, not only is he going to be goalkeeper of the season, um, spiritually, because, of course, the Zamora goes to the keeper that averages the less conceded goals, but he's going to get a big move. And that I'm very excited. Like I, mean, I will, at, at some point, I lost my bets on uh, price picks just because the players were out doing pretty much everything, and I bet that he was going to be under-under. If I lose for a historic or a fantastic performance like that, I don't mind. That was insane. Fernando Martinez, very good. I wanted to put my flowers out there straight away for Almeria for this game before I jump into the other points. Now, the second thing that I have written down is Ancelotti rotation, Schuamini and Rudiger. If you didn't know, we went out with... Um, I'm going to do this on top of my head because I'm not looking at the lineup uh, because for some reason my Wi-Fi is not working. We had... Courtois, Lucas Vasquez, who was fantastic, um, Nacho, Rudiger, Mendy, Schuamini, Camavinga, and Cross, and then up top we have Valverde, Benzema, Vinicius. Ancelotti pretty much is doing what everyone complained about him last season which is rotation, and I'm very happy about it. I could not, when I saw the lineup, I was happy. I was like, okay. Okay, you do you, boo-boo. We are good. We That's exactly what we need. We don't need to worry about, like, oh, like, is Madrid going to be playing every single minute of every single game? Or is anyone going to get injured? Like, he, you could tell, like, every single player was there, and this is going to give motivation to the team. Now, Ancelotti, out of the way, he's fantastic. He's great. Like, he did everything. He got his spot on. Like I say, if Fernando Martinez didn't have 13 saves, it would be a completely different conversation. Um, now, Rudiger. 
He looks out of place in a four at the back, but of course it was expected he's not that good at a four at the back. He's a forte is a three at the back, but he's going to get used to it. Uh, he was decent. He was solid for most of the game. The one problem was the one goal that we conceded. He's the one that tracks back and allows um, Manzarani or whatever his name is from Alberia to just go through and be onside and then just uh, beat Courtois which put us on the back end in the first couple of minutes, but of course it was six minutes in. Nobody was even like full on warmed up and Almeria capitalized on that. Now, Chouamini, Chouamini, Chouamini is getting a lot of uh, slander online and I'm not liking it. Like, yes, he, he didn't astonish. He was playing CDM. He was playing the Casemiro role. Newsflash, nobody's going to be as good as Casemiro, the Casemiro role besides Casemiro. So we need to be patient and let Chouamini get more and more and more and more minutes in that position and understand what the role should be. Because the defense, the defense of course, Casemiro went in on the 83rd, I believe. It's not fair to say that the defense just looked way better when he went in, but uh, it doesn't, it, like, Casemiro makes a reassurance or it's such a big insurance for our defense that it's going to be an understatement, and when he retires, we're going to cry, but Schwamini, he's going to be there. He's our future, and today he did the passing right. It's just the defensive side that you could see he was kind of lost, and uh, he wasn't as comfortable in, like, the, the Casemiro role that just gets the ball and distributes to the creators. Schwamini was part of the creators at Monaco, so he, it's going to take some time to get used to it, and then again, it goes back to the second point. Ancelotti's rotations are going to be key this season, and I'm glad that doesn't matter the Almeria, or if anything, it matters that it was Almeria, and he immediately just like, okay, Modric to the bench, Casemiro, you're going to relax. Um, who else? Rudy, uh, Alaba and Militao go to the bench, and it's great. And Carvajal go to the bench. Like, oh, everyone's going to have rotations, and everyone's going to be hopefully 100% for most of the season, bar a, a random injury. My third point is Valverde will be key. If you watch that game and did not think... We are lucky to have Alverde. I don't know what to tell you, dude. The the kid, I, I think I can call him a kid because he's younger than me. Um, he he plays the right wing position now, but he, he isn't. He just goes wherever he's needed. He starts a right wing, then runs to midfield, then plays right back, then goes to center back if he's needed, then plays re behind Benzema. It, Valverde is such a gifted player and such a athletic player and physical player that he can just do everything at the end of the game i saw him run through the space for a solid 10 seconds i'm like dude it's the 85th or whatever minute it was i don't i don't think he got um subbed out but if he did whenever before he got subbed out he was just still running i was like dude chill like we were already winning if he got subbed out and when i remember seeing that like he he has the best lungs in the game like he reminds me a lot of kante in prime Kante's stamina that he was just everywhere, that's going to be Valverde. And he might be our most important player this season. Besides, of course, the scoring and everything, he might be the most important role in our team to like be cohesive and to be successful. Now, four. Okay, this one's something that I wanted to touch when I brought up the Schwamini Rudiger uh, rotation. Alaba, Militao, Carvajal, and Mendy are still our back four. Is undisputed, is undisputed, is is undeniable and everything. That back four at the moment, maybe Rudiger catch some some steam and becomes the starter. At the moment, there's no way you can tell me that Alaba Militao, Carvajal, and Mendy wouldn't be the starting four that you put in a final for Real Madrid. Because again, Alaba and, and Militao, they they already spent a whole season together. It will be dumb by Ancelotti to sacrifice that just to put Rudiger in. You know what I'm saying? Like you already said, Quality center backs and a quality center back partnership is hard to come by. And the fact that Alaba and Militao already proved last season that they already got to know each other and they already like and play together well, it would be it would be a, a stupid sacrifice to put Rudiger in the mix just for the sake of putting him. Carvajal, we need to get a, a backup right back. Even though Lucas Vasquez, let me give him his flowers. He played fantastic. He got the goal. He was everywhere on that right uh, side of the pitch, and he was. He was giving it all. He's a true Madridista. Like, I love the fact that uh, Vasquez not only is a, a good player and, 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 and plays with the heart, but, like, he is a Madridista. Like, he loves the club, and you can tell every time he plays, he's going to give it 110%. But looking into the future, he uh, I know Vasquez is younger than Carvajal, so when Carvajal is already on his last legs and going out, I wish we would start looking into a backup. Reese James scored today, um, or technically tomorrow by the time I upload this. 
and or yesterday by the time I upload this and Reese James I will kill I will freaking do anything for for having him at Real Madrid because he is arguably the closest thing to Carvajal that I've seen in another type of player in a long time but yeah four point Alaba Militao Carvajal and Mendy are still the top the back four let me know in the comments down below if you disagree with that fifth Vini will be Neymar I think what I put by that is when I wrote it, is that Vini kept on destroying the left-hand side, kept on going back and forth, back and forth, and just doing whatever he wanted on the left-hand side. But he was repeating the same play after the, uh, the same play after same play after same play after same play. It was the the go to the corner, cut inside, and then a little freaking back heel to someone doing the run. That the Mendy Benzema, whoever. And it just was pissing me off because I could see like the Vini could have had a brace this game if he one trusted his left a little bit more and two just overall play in that and it was more creative. Like I didn't understand why he just kept doing the same play for this, the same play, the same play. If if we if each time the play ended up in a shot on goal or 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 a goal. I want to understand why, why you're repeating it. Like, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. But the fact that we only will get a corner or just lost the ball, it didn't make sense. It, it didn't come out to fruition to anything. So, hopefully, ne uh, Vini does end up doing anything instead of, like, just the the, the Neymar flashes that, that we had and then not end up doing anything. Like, the Neymar right now at PSG is the Neymar version that I like. The one that is, yeah, he's still flashy. He's still entertaining. But he wants to put the end output, which is what wins you games at the end of the day. And Vini, I hope that he does that. And before I get to my sixth point, because I just realized I didn't mention him anywhere, Hazard deserves props. And hopefully he plays like that for the rest of the season. Because the, the, the second he came in, man, like, bro, like, we had a... Not not a not an attacking uh, priority because Benzema was still there, but he became our focal point in the middle. He was doing the runs, he was doing quick passes. Of course, he's still slow. Um, it's not like the hazard of prime hazard back in Chelsea, but he he was doing what he was supposed to do. He was creating, opening the space, and sending the ball into the the back lines where Benzema, or Vini, or anyone will do the chances. So Hazard. Might be one of the mo most important pieces coming off the bench. Do I think he needs to be a starter? Absolutely not. Uh, but Hazard absolutely will get his chance and will at least give us support this season. Now that he no longer has the uh, metal plate on his ankle and he's going to have a lot of freedom. And now the fact that he's going to be playing in the middle under um, Ancelotti's thoughts. Now, my sixth point. Benzema is mad. What I mean by that next game. I need to see our calendar because I have no clue who our next game is going to be against. If you saw today's game, you could tell, one, he might he might have been tired. I don't know. But, two, he was doing everything in his power to get the ball. One, but, two, he missed out. I don't know how many chances. And this reminds me of a Benzema from 2017-18 or 18-19. I forget which one's the one that he had a, a very low-scoring season. But he was doing everything right. He just didn't get the goal. And again, he might have not gotten the goal because we go back to our point, first point. Fernando Martinez was just saving everything and anything. So next game, I don't know what poor soul is going to be on goal. But if Benzema doesn't score next game, I'll be, I'll be shocked. I'll be really shocked. But those were the six things we learned from the Real Madrid 2 on Maria 1. Let me know what you guys think in the comments down below. Let's have a conversation. Follow me on all my other social media. And I'll see you to the next video. Have an amazing day. A la Madrid and... Peace.